You suck at cooking, oh my god, you suck. So cold brew coffee might be the easiest and most delicious way to make coffee, depending on whether or not you like cold things and coffee. These are locally roasted dark espresso beans. I recommend using a, a hand grinder from either say like the 60s or the 20s. I already did that earlier. It didn't take me more than six hours. You want it to, to be somewhat coarse just because it makes filtering it easier. Ideally, you're using quad osmosis distilled spring water from an iceberg, but tap water also works great. And what you can do is put it into one mason jar and then pour it into another mason jar. Pour that back. And then at least one more time, that's triple distilled mason water um, or trip dismay for short. And from there you take your coffee. This is half pound. You just pour that right in there. Stir that up nice and good. And step one is complete. Leave that overnight. Leave it for at least 12 hours. Stir it a couple times before you go to bed. Well, the coffee's brewing. I like to relax, let my bun down, work on some tunes. Uh, a lot of people ask me why I make cold brew as the winter's coming, not in the summer. And to be honest, like everyone's doing it in the summer and it just, it's just kind of embarrassing how everyone wants to do cold brew just because it's hot out. My band and I are working on an album right now. We're called Trinkets for Miles, and uh, we're only posting our single on the dark web. Uh, it's called Maybe at Best. So that's gonna be pretty cool. It's one of my favorite instruments. I just like that uh, it has such a full spectrum sound. You sort of really feel it to your core when you play it. Uh, uh, oh, uh, 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 uh. It's uh, the next day. And we are ready to filter this cold brew like it's nobody's business except my business. All the grounds are at the bottom now. I'm just gonna stir them up one more time because I feel like it'll make it stronger. I'll take a pot and a mesh thing. Now ideally you wanna use an old burlap sack, but I got some cheesecloth here that we're gonna use to filter this out. Then you just pour this in. Lift the strainer out and let it drain. And give that a good squeeze. And then you've got perfectly delicious cold brew. Now you wanna get that back in your mason jar as quickly as possible so you minimize contact with anything that's not a mason jar. Take a piece of cardboard, grab a pen, and then just make a nice label. How do you spell echoes? You wanna tie that on to the jar. Gonna Instagram that in a couple weeks. Put your lid back on it, put it in the fridge, keep it nice and cold. It should last for up to a month. It's a good idea to stir before you pour though, because particles can follow, fall to the bottom, can follow gravity to the bottom. So now that you have your cold brew, you're ready to start writing your novel. I'm working on a sort of Kafka Egger style book with a choose your own adventure element to it. Sip your cold brew and feel it out and, you know, see where the inspiration takes you. Standing on the road, standing on the road, standing on the road. I wonder I wonder where that road goes when I'm standing on the road